The number of atoms or elements in a compound can often get overlooked by students because they think it's just so simple they don't need to bother but it can be the difference between grades. So here are a few examples for you and if you like these and want to get some other math questions, harder math questions, lots and lots of math questions, then you can go and get my book, Maths, the Chemistry Bits for Science Students. You can get it as a book version, you can get it as a video version, or you can get it over on my classroom. Running the risk of annoying the English department, I'm going to say that capital letters and small letters are more important in science than they are in English. Um, because here we have CO and we have CO, and it's the capital letters you need to be looking for when we're looking for atoms and elements. Because a big C and a little O is cobalt which is, uh, sorry, cobalt, slightly dull metal. Whereas a big C and a big O, this is carbon. This is oxygen. Together they make carbon monoxide, which is a deadly gas. So big letter, little letter is the difference between a rather dull metal and a deadly gas. A big big difference here and the only way to write down the difference is by writing down um, the size of the letters so more important in science than it is in English you need to be able to look at a compound and tell me how many different elements it has in there and how many different atoms it has in there they love asking this at the start of a paper so for elements we need to be looking at the capital letters so this is carbon and this number here tells me there are two of them this is hydrogen and this here tells me there is six of them and this is oxygen so there are three elements carbon hydrogen oxygen and two carbons plus six hydrogens plus one oxygen means that there are nine atoms here we have hydrogen peroxide, it has hydrogen in it and there are two of them and it has oxygen and there are two of them. So it has two elements, hydrogen and oxygen and four atoms. Here we have another one, we have carbon. Because it doesn't have a number after it, it means there's only one hydrogen. Because there's no number, it means there's only one. And fluorine. Because there's a number, it we need to. There's three, there's three. So we have three elements, and we have one plus one plus three equals five atoms. Um, last one for you today, we have magnesium, because there's no number after it, it means there's only one carbon, again no number after it, so it means there's only one, and oxygen, and there are three of those because there's a number after it, so there are three elements, one plus one plus three, five, atoms. Um, if you want more videos like this, because this question comes up a lot, pop over to my classroom channel or you can get my um, book from my website.